Good afternoon. I'm Erica Sargent. Joe Donlin is off. Welcome to our viewers on TV and on our digital streaming network, CBS News Chicago. Developing right now a major break in the case of the brutal killings of four University of Idaho students. Police say a suspect has been arrested in eastern Pennsylvania. For weeks, investigators haven't been able to name a suspect or find a murder weapon. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman is in the newsroom with more on who is the suspect now. Marissa. Well, Erica, the suspect is a 28-year-old Ph.D. student at Washington State University. A motive is still not clear, and law enforcement hasn't revealed what led them to this arrest. The top prosecutor saying this is not the end of their investigation, calling this a new beginning. Authorities arrested 28-year-old Brian Christopher Kohlberger in eastern Pennsylvania Friday in connection with the stabbing deaths of four University of Idaho students. Since November, we have remained laser focused on pursuing, pursuing every lead in our pursuit of justice for the victims and their families. The development is the biggest in the case since the November 13th fatal stabbings of Kaylee Goncalves, Madison Mogan, Ethan Chapin, and Zana Kernodal. A criminal complaint was filed yesterday here in Lataw County, charging the defendant, Mr. Kohlberger, with four counts of first degree murder, in addition to felony burglary, which involves entering the residence with the intent to commit the crime of murder. The students' bodies were found at a rental home near campus sometime in the early morning hours. Autopsies showed all four were likely asleep during the deadly attacks. I recognize the frustration with the lack of information that's been released. However, Providing any details in this criminal investigation might have tainted the upcoming criminal prosecution or alerted the suspect of our progress. The case received international attention and police say thousands of tips were called in to a special FBI call center. Now, police say they are still looking for a murder weapon, but have found a Hyundai Elantra they were looking for as part of this investigation. Koberger is being held without bond. Records show he was arraigned this morning and has an extradition hearing where he could be brought back to Idaho. Live in the newsroom, Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. Erica. Thank you, Marissa.